These guys have no shots. These guys have to. Oh, look at that. He got shot through everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Buck Steve. Right now, you guys are joining me as we play Total War Warhammer, and this is the series where we go to um, the battles of Karl Franz as after his ascension to the throne of the Empire. So, basically, we'll be playing skirmish games as we tell a low friendly story about Karl Franz and his battles. So, one good Thing that I like about uh, Warhammer was that the law doesn't specifically say how many men he has in his armies, um, like uh, what's uh, what were the composition of his armies, what were the tactics used. Um, there were bare minimum, but they do tell a story. Uh, basically, Game Workshop wants the players to decide for themselves the armies that they bring into battle right here so this um, what happened was um, after Karl Franz ascended to the throne of the empire he led a grand army in the show of force to get rid of the Norskid forces into the uh, electoral county of Nordland so these Nordish forces have been raiding uh, most of the most of the um, Northern force, uh, most of the northern parts of the empire, and it took him quite a while to actually find them. He had no intelligence whatsoever, so he decided to use the only thing at his disposal, which were a group of wizards. And these wizards helped him to actually um, find and locate the enemies of the, the Northlands, and Karl Franz set the trap. Uh, managed to gather them in full force and force them into a decisive battle. Uh, basically, a book from um, Sun Tzu's Art of War to force a decisive battle when the time has come. So he he has the full might of the empire, and the law goes that most of the Norskan forces were fi uh, finished off by his artillery. So the bulk of Karl Franz's forces. Uh, were artilleries, yeah, as you can see there. He has a bunch of artilleries and, of course, some hell blasters, uh, rocket gun, and organ guns as well. So, these guys, ca these cannons can be devastating as well. So, they will be pushed up. Uh, of course, Karl Franz brought, brought along his uh, Reichsguard, as you can see here, two units of Reichsguard on his flank, Karl Franz himself. He brought along his infantry, which comprises of hel uh, halberdiers, swordsmen, spearmen, hand gunners, um, great swords, and more spearmen, of course. And of course, more Reich's Guard cavalry at his disposal. So these Reich's guards are short cavalry, they are very very tough. He also brought along his uh, captain of the empire. So that would be nice. Uh, that's a nice show of force there. So the Northlands, they were a raiding party basically and they did not want to meet the empire in open battle but um, Karl Franz managed to probably had them cornered due to his uh, magical intelligence. So he, the Nordish forces have already assembled. They do not brought along artillery. They again are raiding forces. They have landed from the shores of uh, Norsica, uh, Norska, sorry, and they brought along marauders, chaos warriors, and uh, some chariots, but no artillery, no major cavalry units. Again, 
again, what happened is that the Northland forces were actually trapped when Carl Franz destroyed most of their ships. Unfortunately, uh, medieval total war do not uh, sorry, mini, uh, total war warhammer do not have ships. So right now it's basically just infantry that we can use to tell this story. Again, I'm being creatively uh, I am creatively telling the story because again uh, with the shortcomings of total war warhammer. Again, Game Workshop also allows you to do that. They encourage you to do stuff like that. So, we are going to tell you the story about this battle, and at the same time, we'll be roaming around the map, trying to look at most of the battles. And we're going to start the game here. So, as you can see here, the cavalry have already. The cannons, artillery are pushing up across to get up on that hill. The Nords are marching forward. Carl Franz himself has already pushed forward with his Greek Scott Calvary. He, again, he just ascended to the throne of uh, the Empire and he was young, so they needed he needed a victory to uh, actually secure his rule as Emperor and make a mark for himself. So he decided a great war against the forces of chaos would be an example. And already hand gunners have already start peppering forces of chaos as chariots move for nearby as you can see here the empire forces are holding back but they got chariots these chariots are tougher than they look and artillery has already started firing here and Kalfras has already engaged most of the chariots and at the center of the map Nothing much is going on, but um, Rex Guard Cavalry unit are engaging chariots here when they were they got caught with a group of infantry. Not pretty good time to be pinned down. So most of the center flank has already been engaged as chariots roll through and the forces of Norsica are getting to here. As you can see, hand gunners peppering the enemy from the back. Yep, they smashed through most of the Empire lines. Brutal going on here. At the center, there is a mild skirmish going on as the Empire are desperately trying to keep the forces of the Northland for the Norska forces away from the artillery. As you can see here, a group of Helbidius bravely fighting off the um, marauders that has attacked that position again cavalry is uh, the objective of course was to protect the artillery again if Carl Franz loses his artillery he, he they would be a mess As you can see here, most of them are firing at close range These guys have no shots, they just have to- Oh, look at that! They just shot through everybody. Go on. Uh, at the center, uh, again, a tough fight for most of the Empire's men. That is the forces of North, uh, learn the Norskan forces continue to badger to the front. And at the same time, the cavalry is stuck at the the left wing has been stuck Empire men started to retreat again but most of the flanks try not to uh, the flanks are holding back here keeping march from the center so most of the central forces are holding but the essential part here is the the right wing where the, the cannons and the artillery holding. The Halberdiers managed to hold back the Marauders forces but just barely, only a few groups of them left. These uh, Hellblasters cannons are firing at close, close proximity. As you can see here, artillery peppering retreating troops. 
And now Carl France again is leading the other wing. The Reichs guards. As you can see here, his cover is really slow. And look at his awesome the Heldenhammer. Yep. The Heldenhammer of course is passed down from generation to generation of uh, Empire Kings. And whoa, look at that. The artillery is just taking no prisoners firing on their own men as well. As you can see here. And finally the the right wing managed the left wing managed to break free and now are helping out most of the infantry that are in dire needs. More retreating men reformed and asked to join in the fight. Lone chariot unit tries to charge to the um, handgun units. Oh, brutal there! Oh. Again, handgun units are pressuring on them. Cannons are firing upon the remainder of the units, enemy units. Again, Reich's got cavalry have reformed and prepared to preparing to charge against the enemy units. And a charge by the Reich's guard is devastating. As you can see here, they're quickly turning. Again, turning takes quite a while in ancient armies, especially in Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, turning can be a uh, pretty critical decision to make, especially by a detachment of units. And as you can see, the center lines have managed to put hold back most of the uh, Northland forces. Most of them now are in general retreat. And as you can see here, cavalrys are taking no prisoners around here. And yes, even on the left and the right wing now, they're finishing up most of the battle. And this was the first victory uh, by Karl Franz. He managed to read most of the forces of chaos in the north. Again, Karl Franz needed to secure the north as a way to show that of his legitimacy of his rule. So basically that's it for this episode. If you guys do enjoy that and want to see more battles or more... more... more battles do subscribe to me the next battle will probably be um, the campaign against the Bretonians hopefully we'll be able to do that and mo this ca uh, this pl uh, we'll probably be doing about five to six video to show you guys the story of Karl Franz and his ascension as at the Emperor up to the books of course Anyway, you can do subscribe to my channel on YouTube and catch me on Twitch. Um, I will, uh, your support will be gladly appreciated and hopefully we can produce more of this video. Thank you again for joining me. My name is Buck Steve. Bye-bye.